Meghan and her husband, Prince Harry, decided to step down from their roles as working members of the British royal family in January 2020. The move has been criticized as the royal family is famously apolitical and tends not to get involved in such matters. The role of the royal family is ceremonial and formal. Political reporter and host at Sky News Australia, Inelis Nielsen spoke about the Duke and Duchess letter. Ms Nielsen said, it's hard to understand just how extraordinary this letter is. For starters, Shush has used their royal titles saying it's from the office of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Lasting through centuries of different royal protocol there, in the letter she details her own history, growing up in hard times by the sounds. Meghan wrote, I grew up on the 4.99 salad bar at Sizzler, it may have cost less back then, to be honest, I can't remember but what I do remember was the feeling, I knew how hard my parents worked to afford this. Ms Nielsen added, she then goes on to urge the leaders to take the paid leave policy that's part of the Build Back Better plan and make it a reality. Shush is saying it's a national right rather than a patchwork option limited to those whose employers have policies in place. There she is saying she wants to encourage that to be accessible and encouraged without stigma or penalty. And finally, she signs off on behalf of her family, Archie and Lily put first before husband Prince Harry, and she says thank you for considering this letter, and on behalf of all families I ask you to ensure this consequential moment is not lost. Prince Harry and Meghan were allowed to keep, but no longer use their HRH titles after they stepped down as working royals. They also declared they would become financially independent, meaning they would no longer be paid under the sovereign grant, which is taxpayer funded. The couple also no longer formally represent the Queen, but are widely associated with the royal family. In order to fund their lifestyle, the Duke and Duchess have signed multiple multi-million pound deals with Netflix, Spotify and others.